help you do it. The Coma Recovery Scale for Accelerated Standardized Testing, also known as CRSR FAST, was recently developed to detect conscious awareness in patients with severe traumatic brain injury in the ICU. With a sensitivity of 81% and specificity of 89% of detecting consciousness. It is feasible, valid, and reliable when compared to the more extensive CRS revised scale. This test takes an average 6.5 minutes to complete and facilitates serial assessments of consciousness. Prior to the exam, review the medical record or speak with the clinical team to determine whether confounding issues may affect the examination. Record administration of psychoactive medications. When possible, administer the exam when sedation has been lifted. If this is not possible, list the psychoactive medications on the case report form. Observe and record spontaneous behaviors for one minute. If the eyes are closed or there are other signs of under arousal, administer the arousal facilitation protocol. The goal of this intervention is to prolong the length of time the patient maintains arousal. The protocol is administered anytime the eyes close or there is no response to verbal or tactile stimuli. Present deep pressure stimulation unilaterally to the face, neck, and shoulder. The muscle should be firmly grasped at its base between the thumb and the forefinger. While squeezing the muscle firmly, it should be rolled back and forth through the fingertips three to four times. Repeat on the contralateral side. This is a copy of the record form. Adhere to instructions for administration of items and present each one in the order listed on the form. The response window for each stimulus is 10 seconds and only score clearly discernible responses. Item number one, reproducible movement to command. Select at least two commands, eye movement, limb movement, or oral commands, and present each over four trials at 10 second intervals. The same command should be used for all four trials of each type of command. Ma'am, look up. Stick out your tongue. Repeat four trials of each command. A scorable response is when at least three clearly discernible and accurate responses occur over four trials of either type of command. Our patient scored a zero for reproducible command following. Item two, fixation and visual pursuit. Fixate your gaze on the mirror image. A scorable response for visual pursuit is when the eyes follow the mirror for 45 degrees without loss of fixation on two occasions. A scorable response for visual fixation is when the eyes change from initial fixation point and refixate on the new location for at least two seconds. At least two episodes of fixation are required. Our patient scored zero for fixation and visual pursuit. Item three, automatic motor response. Automatic motor behaviors are complex, overlearned movement sequences that occur in response to specific environmental triggers and cannot be attributed to reflexive activity such as the grasp reflex. Examples include nose scratching, grasping the bed rail, pulling in dwelling tubes and lines, and picking up objects. Observe for episodes of automatic motor behavior that occur spontaneously during the examination. A scorable response is when at least two episodes of automatic motor behavior are observed during the examination and each episode can be clearly differentiated from a reflexive response. Our patient scored one for automatic motor response. Item four, localization to noxious stimuli. A scorable response is when the non-stimulated limb locates and makes contact with the stimulated body part or source of stimulation on at least two of the four trials. 
This may also be scored from the arousal facilitation protocol. Our patient scored 1 for localization to noxious stimulation. Item 5, Intelligible Expression. Ma'am, I would like to hear your voice. The opposite of up is what? Musical. The color of grass is what? Those two verbal prompts should be repeated twice each. A scorable response is when each of the following criteria are met. First, each verbalization must consist of at least one consonant, vowel, consonant, triad. For example, ma would not be acceptable, but mom would. Second, two different words must be documented by the examiner to ensure that a repetitive, word-like sound is not mistaken for a word. Words need not to be appropriate or accurate for the context, but must be fully intelligible. And third, words produced by mouthing, writing, or alphabet board are acceptable as long as they meet the scoring criteria. Verbalizations that occur spontaneously or at other times during the assessment and meet these criteria should also be scored. Our patients scored zero for intelligible expression. These five core items are administered in order until a scorable response is elicited or observed to occur spontaneously and meet the scoring criteria. The final rating is conscious if at least one of the core items is observed or not conscious if none of these items are observed. Our patient appears to be in a minimally conscious state. There are three supplementary items, two of which can be used by the examiner to detect emergence from the minimally conscious state. Supplementary items, functional object use. Ma'am, can you show me how you use a pen? Thank you. Can you show me how to use this flashlight? Select two common objects and do a total of two trials with each object. A scorable response is when the movements are generally compatible with both objects' specific function and all four trials administered. If the patient is unable to hold the object because of neuromuscular involvement, this should be noted on the record form and the item should not be scored. Our new patient scored a 1 for functional object use, which is a sign of emergence from Musical. minimally conscious state. Supplementary items, accurate communication. If there is evidence of command following or spontaneous yes or no responses, administer the six situational orientation questions from this protocol. The examiner may use the visual set, auditory set, or both sets. Ma'am, am I clapping my hands right now? 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 And am I clapping my hands right now? A scorable response is when there are clearly discernible and accurate responses occurring within 10 seconds on all six of the visual or auditory situational orientation questions from this protocol. A scorable response for intentional communication is when there is a clearly discernible communicative response such as head nodding or shaking or thumbs up occurring within 10 seconds on at least two of the six situational orientation questions from the assessment protocol. The examiner must determine that this response occurs more frequently following verbal prompting than when non-specific auditory stimulation is administered, such as hand clapping. Our patient responded to five of the six prompts and was correct on four of the six prompts and thus received a score of one on non-functional intentional communication. At the end of the exam, test completion codes are entered to establish the validity of the assessment and record reasons for confounding or failure to complete the examination. 
The CRSR FAST is an accurate and efficient method of detecting a recovery of consciousness from severe traumatic brain injury in the acute phase. It can facilitate clinicians in capturing subtle behavioral signs that might be otherwise missed on routine bedside examination.